Welcome back to Baku. We're on the edge of the Caspian Sea in a bustling, vibrant capital, which once again plays host to the spectacle of Formula Two. This is not your usual racing circuit. It provides one of the most complete tests for the field. Sector one sports a set of 90 degree corners around the block, if you like. Sector two gets even tighter with the old city walls. Sector three just turns 16 to negotiate and then 2.2 kilometers flat to the floor, full throttle in sixth gear all the way to the end. Here is the grid for today's race, which will be starting shortly. Teo Polcher has a clear track ahead of him today. He starts in pole position. An insane Maloney in P2. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Awasa, Duan, Enzo Fittipaldi, Martins, Behrman, Leclerc, Vesti, Amory Cordiel, Benavides, Nisani, Juan Manuel Correa, Dennis Halgo, Stanek, Miney, Deruvela, and Ralph Boschong. Hajar, Vashore, Crawford, and Clermont Novelac completes the grid. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. Alongside me today, I'm delighted to welcome back to the commentary box the 2012 GP2 champion, Davide Valsecchi. There looks to be a challenging race ahead of the drivers today, Davide. With that in mind, what are you looking out for today? Well, Alex, I want to see how the drivers at the back of the grid are going to run down. They'll need to make an impact in the early stages, and they're probably hoping for a bit of luck at the start. We may see some bold maneuvers out there today. Okay, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down. mate that brings you up a place
Okay, this is your final lap. Final lap of the race. And that's the end of the race. We'll see you in part Fermi. It was a magnificent race and a drive right out of the top draw to take the win for ART today. Davide, what do you think made the difference here? It was down to one thing consistent pace over everyone else out there on the track. We could spend a great deal of time talking about race and tire strategy, what has occurred on the track, but at the end of the day, the difference here was down to simply being faster on track than everyone else. Amazing skill on show. An amazing race today and a very well-deserved one too. The team worked very hard to get exactly the right setup out of the F2 car. It works for them and the results speak for themselves. ARTGP winners today. Now then, Davide Valsecchi, who would you say was your driver of the day? Difficult call, but I'd like to say Theo Purcher. He's just so gifted at getting the most out of the tires, and he showed that today. After all this drama, you'll be mad not to join us for the next race. We hope to see you then. Take care.